We have breaking news. Deputies say a man was shot and killed during an argument with his ex-wife. It is the third deadly case involving domestic violence just today. Eyewitness News' is Nick Notario joins us with the very latest on this case. Hi there, Nick. Hi there, Myra. Yeah, we just got here moments ago, and Sheriff Ed Gonzalez tweeting out the details not too long ago. Here's what we know up in northwest Harris County uh, right now. This says a an ex-husband showed up to a residence where there were people inside, including the ex-wife, and, and there was, according to Sheriff Gonzalez, an argument over property between the two. A fight ensued between the ex-husband and a male, and that's when one of the men got a pistol and shot the ex-husband. Um, he later died from his injuries. Now, this is the fourth person that has died from a d domestic dispute in less than 24 hours in Harris County. And as we discovered, there are really disturbing num numbers and trends when it comes to domestic violence situations here locally. This was the latest domestic violence homicide investigation in Harris County. In the northwest part of the county, deputies were called to this complex around noon. When they arrived, a 22-year-old female had been shot one time by a male who had forced his way inside the residence. A male who wasn't a stranger to the female victim. That male was an ex-boyfriend. Uh, uh, they were separated and had been so for a while. Domestic violence that deputies say they're seeing a lot more of. We've had a, an influx of a lot of domestic related this year. We've had a, a tremendous amount this year. The Texas Council on Family Violence's recent report gives some insight into how bad it's getting. What it shows is statewide domestic violence homicides dropped last year, but in Harris County, which leads the state, it rose by nine. The statewide homicide numbers dropped, but the organization says domestic violence is getting worse. The number of family violence incidents law enforcement dealt with statewide has climbed since 2019. They've also seen a disturbing trend with how domestic violence homicides are being committed. Homicides with a gun rose from 67% in 2020 to 75% last year. If you suspect someone is in a violent relationship, experts say hold the aggressor accountable, offer words of encouragement. It's also important to believe someone, and if they don't seek help right away, it's okay. An issue law enforcement is trying to deal with as well. We've tried doing more and more as far as um, intervention type deals and uh, you know domestic prevention, but uh, it's something that we did that uh, unfortunately we do have to deal with. In order to cut down the number of scenes like this, advocates say families need more resources, new policies in Austin, and educating not just victims but the community about this growing issue. Nick Notario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.